So most people think if you do Google AdWords, you are doing digital. So whom are you going to? Are you going to a compounder to get your treatment or are you going to a, a surgeon? It's a choice. I, I run a digital consulting firm uh, on digital platforms. So I'm into advisory. I help brands and large corporations to evolve, to change, to make their content better, make their designs better, make their social media better, make their entire business better. So a few of the clients whom I consult are World Bank and Steel, some giant in East and in Bombay. So I'm going to uh, <coughs> not give you any uh, much fund on digital but I'm going to bust certain myths which most people will not know. Uh, these are wrong concepts of, about digital marketing. Most of the people who might come across being a large corporation or small corporations or mid-sides they don't understand digital to be very frank and I see people with half paid knowledge and since digital is very new they are trying to learn and trying to think. Uh, I give a very small example like a nurse and doctors both wear white shirts, white type of aprons. They look same, but they're not doctors. So I see most of the digital people who, who try to talk and understand digital is a very, very complex and they mix it up. So traditional marketing is not digital marketing. I see traditional marketing when I see, uh, I, I, I give you my example so that it will be easy for you to relate. Traditional people look for sales. So they, when, when you give them a digital platform, they try to sell. It doesn't work. For example, my own company, I don't have a single salesman, zero. I don't have a business, as, I don't have a single business development guys. I don't go out for business. I don't look for business. I don't have a proposal letter. I don't even email, I don't even call, there's no call call, nothing. You know what I do? I make content, I get found, so clients finds me. Just the reverse exactly, I think all of you do, just the opposite. You go and meet people, you go and pitch, you go and talk, you go and try to sell or convince, I just do the opposite. I do nothing. Technically, I'm speaking and I'm supposed to wear a jacket, so I'm wearing this full trouser. Generally, I come to my office in shorts because I don't visit client. Clients find me online. So clients like World Bank come to me. So World Bank has 34 parameters to work with them. I don't qualify any of them. They found me on LinkedIn and said, uh, we want you to consult us. Uh, and there's some 34 parameters they've sent and I don't follow all those stuff. They created a case study and a way off to allow me to work with them. Just the reverse. Imagine if I would have appro approached World Bank, they would have not even bothered to open my proposal letter, right? So you must be thinking, I, I just did my company after working for almost two decades. I built my own consulting firm, which is around two and a half years old. Yeah, I did more than a crore business in shots without going out. That's the power of digital marketing. So if you think, if you think that social media, if you post, if you sell, it, that's not digital marketing. So traditional marketing is not the way you do digital marketing. Most people think if you do Google ads, if you do some Facebook ads and that's digital marketing, absolutely it's not. It is nothing to do with digital marketing. Digital is a large, vast ocean. AdWords or Facebook or anything is a very small, minute part of the sales channel. It is not. So most people think if you do Google AdWords, you are doing digital. Absolutely not. This is another thing I see. Most of the traditional people, they try to post content. So when you hire an agency, you hire a creative agency. You, you negotiate. How many posts are you going to do? 50 posts, 20 posts. What is that to do with digital marketing? That has no relationship with digital marketing. Posting is nothing. Most of you will have, you will see, you, if you open an office, if you open a store, it gives you boost this post, right? So everyone in this country, this is a problem which I, am, I wrote a blog on this, is giving you a wrong direction. That's nothing to do with marketing. All of you think that if you know, this is boosting is so easy, I will only select my criteria of people and I will pay 1000 rupees and I will get and my content or my advertising or whatever post is going to be shared among one lakh people. Oh my God, simple. Digital is so simple and so cheap. It is not. Even if you boost, nothing happens. So people who boost, you're not supposed to boost. You're burning money and you're actually putting the money in the drain. Have a design process by which you can design and create a campaign. That is the reason to set up a campaign. It takes me more than two hours to set it up. It is so complex. 
everybody to try so they, they ask you to do boasting so you're not supposed to boast if you boast you fail this is what most people think social media is all about digital marketing no social media is one of the channel so imagine this is a pipe social media is a pipe so facebook is a pipe twitter is a pipe linkedin is a pipe social media is a pipe what you put inside is a fuel is called content most people don't understand that so when you negotiate you think you have an office you will have a youtube channel you will have a facebook page and you have a website and you think oh my god i'm so digital i've done it no nothing is going to happen you just bought some pipe it doesn't work social media is one of the pipe you use in your business so if you're only using different pipes and it is not working for you what will happen you will start blaming social media didn't work for me facebook is not working for me twitter didn't work how come i generate more than a crore of business through my content i don't use pipe i use pipe and each pipe the fluid inside keeps on changing this is a mistake happens with most of you i see most of the traditional people when they try digital marketing they make one poster one post same post goes in everywhere cut this forward cut this forward doesn't work like that each channel have a different algorithm each channel work in a different uh, way and perform so each content has to be different so what you do you make one video cut that video into 30 minutes video post it on youtube cut that video and convert that into same thing on on instagram or or facebook it doesn't work like that if you make a video and don't share a link of a youtube if you directly post that video on on the facebook page it will have a better algorithm because facebook and youtube are anti so the moment you put a link to that youtube link on your facebook facebook will make sure it doesn't get spread when i speak uh, at different forums when i go and meet people i see this is a problem i see most of the people think facebook website is digital marketing so you want to upgrade yourself first make a website and for website what 20000 rupees is good enough 30000 rupees is very good 1 lakh rupees oh my god i've spent so much as a fortune of spending a good website when i say website it takes minimum 5 to 10 lakhs so what are we buying so most of us don't understand this so what do you do you so most of us are most of us in fact many 90% of the people who might be apart from the corporate people who invest into uh, in, in a website so you must be thinking you hire someone a small uh, guy who makes website give him 20000 rupees and make a website and feel happy that you have done, you have done, been you know in the digital you have arrived it doesn't work for you you know what happens to you imagine you have a patient that website is actually a patient in an icu an oxygen cylinder on, the, on his mouth and the person is lying it's not working for you you know how is your website should talk to other people your website should be a place where people come and interact your website is a place where people will understand you so i use my face website content video audio you can try one thing you must be thinking this guy is only blabbering what's the proof what ever saying right do one thing please type your own name after the session is over on google first of all try the full name your full name on google and try to do a image search you will not find your picture there probably out of the first 20 pages you will find your picture one or twice that too maybe you have are you on linkedin it will come if you have one or two some other post somewhere somewhere referred your name on your some newspaper it will come otherwise probability if you count the first 100 pictures on google image search you will not find your name i see a gentleman trying you can try this you will not find your name right why it happens and do that please try my name you don't have to write even shubhavrat chakraborty is a quite 22 characters word alphabet just write shubhavrat if you try that google will tell you are you looking for shubhavrat chakraborty i come on the first or second i stand number 1 in google by the way i have not spent a single money to google adwords yes is there right yeah just now see the image search go for the image search image there's a button image and see the fun now see the number of count total image the first was with the visuals most of it okay sorry ha huh, so so that's also the issue if you search they probably you will not find us one reason is that when you are using your own phone and when you using your own desktop there is something called cache cache saves your other past data so i have not searched my name in your phone so if you search if he search probability you will not find number of posts or images you have to imagine you have you're the one of the most luckiest guy in this room who, who google can understand you i'm talking of the majority not the minority so these are issues so website is something where it's a it's, it's very very important tool most people don't understand website they will go and cut this you know how a website is done first you look at your competitor try to copy and cheat from 20 other web competitor 
ask one of the guy can you copy all these things and put everything and make a website that's how the website happens okay what is the fundamental of making website first there is something called user journey there is something called personal <coughs> building then you create and meet people then you create a content map these are something called user experience how an i look at the content how that i movement happens it all comes under ux and ui is absolutely science by the way digital is 99% science and 1% creativity most people don't understand that nice design doesn't work there's certain mathematics and science it works if you use instagram if you use blue any post on blue if you start starting posting blue instagram will start loving you because there's a blue tinge which the algorithm favors if you put any instagram images from dawn to dusk or from morning to the evening in the reverse position algorithm wise it will help you this is science it is nothing to do with creativity imagine there is a headline on the on the there is a poster and the hero or the uh, you know the model is looking towards this direction probability there is no one will click at that headline if the person is looking towards you and a smiling face brain gives a as per the neuroscience brain triggers that is a happy thing they will click if you want that person to read that headline imagine the headline if the person is looking towards the headline your eye will also go that side it's all about the user experience rules the 20 year old kid who is making your website at 15000 rupees will not know this obviously so whom are you going to are you going to a compounder to get your treatment or are you going to a, a surgeon is a choice this is another thing i find most people look into this they think digital is the most cheapest alternative to do, to marketing if i take a holding if i take a kiosk it toss talk take me so few lakhs of rupees so why don't i do something called facebook lead generation so car manufacturer doctors spa everybody do this so lead generation is not is digital it is one part of digital so lead generation is something who jump in so before you build your brand you start selling Uh, imagine some someone you just met, and that person is looking at your pocket. Will you like it? Same thing happen when you do lead generation. You have not created the context. You have not promoted yourself well. You have not given value. Digital is all about karma. By the way, I'll tell you what karma and what digital all about. I don't do a single lead generation campaign. How could I make few crore? You know what I give? I give value. Pick up any of my content on Google search. I've got more than ten thousand content. each content i have been educating not a single time i've sold i never look at the pocket i really don't care i get invitation from different business schools i am a faculty for the last 4 years and i am in door now i have started this uh, november on 20th i'm going to i am kashipur i never applied to i am they found me the professor and dean followed my content they said why don't you come and speak so i go to multi conferences places where i go and talk I have never approached. I go to Nasim Ji also. I always get found. Why? The student read on content, and this they find on is educating. Once you start educating, people will buy from you. Next, this is also not understood by most of us. I see across the digital platform. This I see in a typical corp company. You have a twenty-year-old employee who was a, who was a who was a DTP operator. He himself become a self-proclaimed. graphic designer because he changed his resignation on linkedin and cv just to keep his job floating so that self proclaimed digital graphic designer is making your website he will definitely do all the wrong thing because design has moved it is no more a design design has moved to science let me tell you some simple thing all of you know must be knowing copywriter all of you must be knowing content writer if i ask you what is the difference none of you will be able to tell me both are two different genre most of you know case studies right and you have heard about white paper you have heard about articles if i ask you show me or do you educate me how these three are different you will not able to tell me so imagine if you are not looking for a skilled personality who will do this job so imagine you are thinking that you are going to a surgeon but you are actually ending up meeting a compounder who is wearing the same white dress like a doctor so be aware these are something and education is free by the way i don't have a digital degree I go and teach in I. Do I never thought I need a degree? I was a self-taught person, so all of you can do that. If you have time and energy and passion, you can also learn everything, anything on digital marketing. So design comes under the most critical part. You know why design? I'm talking. Do you know how much there's an image there and there's a text there? You know how much time a normal human being will able to read which one faster? Any idea? How faster? Not much. 
Ha, but how fast? If I, if I ask you to measure, ha. so let me let me share. Nothing much. Sixty thousand times faster. So human brain see a design, interpret the design sixty thousand times faster than the text. So most of us, us will call that kid and say, uh, so, so the the guy will say, we have to make a Facebook campaign. We need some image. Are uh, take it from Google, no? So we take free images from Google. So we think design is the most cheap thing. It's a very easy thing. Why you spend money to buy, right? So so these are all mistakes. I see. These are all myths. If you don't take care, how hard you try, your marketing will fail. But this is the biggest challenge I see among all the CEOs I talk. So around 50, 60 uh, CEOs I meet every every month when I go to conference. It's the biggest problem. Old school mindset is not digital mindset. Old school mindset is all about I want lead and I don't care about all this design and everything. And I see people looking for old school mindset will actually end up hiring wrong people. So I know uh, a big bank, I can't name you, a friend of mine. A big bank told me I have, they've hired a digital expert. I, got, I, got, I, I picked this guy from Twitter. So it's very nice. I was talking to that person and then I realized I went to his LinkedIn and I saw he was a sales guy at Nestle 10 years back. He was he somehow has moved into marketing. He's not a digital person. So Twitter or someone asks you that I'm from I'm doing digital, so don't go back. Understand that. So if you don't understand what type of people you're check checking, you will end up hiring a wrong skill. This is something so much important I see. Persona and research. There's something term. I, I am in fact I just wrote a blog yesterday. I'm going to publish it. I write column every week for Exchange for Media. If you see my column, just if you search my just my name, you'll see everything. So, so research, the old school research and the new school research have, have is a huge difference. So the way uh, these might sound like a little difficult, but you all I am trying to tell you is that uh, just because you know how to drive, you are not able to drive a big truck. Just because you know you can drive a motorcycle, you are not able to drive a, 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 a aircraft. Each device needs a different people to do that. This is most important. Content and contextual, right? I see on LinkedIn, a lot of people posting Jai Matadi in the morning. And they're mostly they're CEOs. So they don't understand the context. They don't understand what pipe they're in. That pipe, if you go to hospital, there's a blue pipe and there's a red pipe. It's one oxygen, right? Where it comes in. So why the market? In each pipe, there are designated content which flows. Same thing working with the content and digital marketing. Everything looks same, but they're not, okay? I make a lot of sarcastic jokes and I created a lot of comic out of this character which I created out of my own face. Teaching people in a very sarcastic manner, please wake up, you're doing all things wrong, right? When I consult, I do brand auditing. So when I do brand auditing, I tear about people. So, so imagine there are 15 people in front of me, all marketeers, 15 years minimum experience. So I tell them 20 things you've done wrong. They generally don't like me in the first instance because they think they're, they're scared because they are working and they may get fired and fundamental mistakes that way, okay? So most of the time I see this is a mistake they do. Content is not equal to context. So you have to understand. So these are something, see each one of you come from a different background, I understand. Each one of you, okay, let me put this like this way. All of you drink tea, I mean tea or coffee, right? And milk. Do you have cows at home? No, no, I also don't have. So you don't need to buy a cow. Similarly, if you want to go digital, hire someone, hire a cow. It says uh, in, a, in a very lame language, or I can say <laughs> you, if you have a dog at home, you should not bark. So our job, you're born human, we're not supposed to bark. You're supposed to have a dog who will bark. So if you want to go digital, hire someone who understands that. Don't try your hands. Till the time you really want to behave digitally. And digital means, doesn't mean WhatsApp posting. Most people I see don't know how to even send a map on the WhatsApp. They end up sending me live locations. I'm sure many of you. If you're meeting a friend, they'll say, send me a map. They'll send you a live location. Live location, you cannot track map. But if they send you a map, then you can send, you can track. Your Google will be able to guide it. So imagine today in the world of WhatsApp, people don't know even how to use a WhatsApp. By the way, let me teach you, let me educate you. I have, what, around 17 people in my company. I don't have their CV, including the one who is in the back shooting my content. So what I'm talking, when Kavita was, was talking to me, I, I told that, uh, don't worry, here I'm not going to sell anything because I hardly carry my visiting card. In my visiting card, there's nothing. When I say nothing, nothing. Because in Google, if you find me, they find me in 0.45 seconds, they find me. 
So when you're making a content or design or whatever you're doing or whatever people you're hiring, make sure that you get found, they hire you. You come to the right person. So if you're thinking that you're doing wrong, you're doing right, hire someone, hire a specialist, right? So if you try to do yourself, you're not able to make it. Selling, go try to sell it in, in, in the digital world. You're not supposed to sell. You're supposed to educate. The moment you start educating, people will buy from you. That's what I was doing for the last two years. This is the secret recipe and nothing else. Start educating. If you're not educating, people will not buy from you. Because if you're trying to sell, someone will find a better rate. Started my business, I started with, I still remember the first quote which I wrote to my client two years back. Because I didn't know how much it was going to be my consulting fee. Uh, I wrote 1.5 lakhs. Next time I increased to 3 lakhs, got paid. Increased to 10 lakhs, got paid. Increased to 35 lakhs, got paid. World Bank was 1.5 crore, got paid. I evolved, I, I, every six months I increase my price. Can you do that for yourself? Every six months you can. I create enormous amount of value. That value is your domain expert. Whatever domain you are in, if you have a tremendous expert. I have an experience of a car guy who came to me. I was asking him some question. The car guy couldn't answer me back. He, he came for a demo, he couldn't answer me. vis a -vis, there's a guy who come and talk really in length. And I still have, I was, uh, I was taking a test drive with my, one of my CEO and he in fact was buying a car. So he was asking and then my boss started educating him what type of engine and bust and all the stuff. And that guy said, oh my God, how come you all know all this thing? That's the power of knowledge. So with a half-baked knowledge, don't try. You'll end up nowhere. So this is the last part. I think I'm almost finished. Content is not difficult to ACO content. So you have a lot of writers you'll find in the, in the roadside. Everywhere, everybody's a content writer. Someone is making about food, you will say, I am a content writer. Tell me a brief, I will write. Someone is making a food or whatever, everybody is writing. So I asked one of one long back, a content writer, do you understand ACO? He said, she said, that's not my job. I was smiling. That's the job of a new content writer. Because when you write content, you don't write for you and me. You write for one thing called spider. And that spider is the Google spider. If the Google spider cannot find you, you are gone from the business. You will never get found. That's it. And that's like quite a long description. And this is, I want to get involved with you what I do. Uh, this is what, that's my name. I want you to not come and take any of my service. I want you to all to come and read my content. Educate yourself. Figure out what things you're doing wrong. So this session is all about education. I am not going to exchange my card to end with any of you because I want all of you to understand what digital, read my content, lot of content comes on social media, on Instagram, you will find me everywhere, even if it's TikTok, you'll find me, I'm everywhere, right? So thank you so much for calling me and uh, thank you once again, Siddharth, I hope I gave some meaningful uh, tips to all of you to understand digital marketing and don't do wrong things. Ride the dog, ride dog who can bark for you. Thank you so much.